Oh, right, leg one of the journey. On my way to Stansted, boarding pass, check, passport. Oh, hello. Brownie Bakes, Plied Amanda Jane, sorting me right out. Obviously my camera. All I've got to do is plug in the aux and on, on we go. Right, checked in. The record 17 minutes into my flight. The Rome. Both gates Right, day number one, exploring Rome. Coming outside the hotel. Hostel even. Where is it? Yellow bar. Last night where I spent all the uh spent my evening socialising. Repping the uh Lazio Paul Gascoigne shirt today out in Rome. So I'm gonna go find the nearest coffee shop and get a bit of a plan together for the rest of the day. Right, I've just started walking around Rome, just trying to get a bit of a feel for it. Um and all I can say is like I'm still coming to terms with this camera and like how to actually use it and I know that I'm gonna get lost as soon as I get here because um I can't read Italian and all the streets look exactly the same. Yeah, it's nice weather today, as expected. So um, I've just stopped off for my first Italian coffee, Americano, a bit of cake and a uh, pizza. Is it a calzone if it's like, yeah, calzone if it's in half. Um, in fairness, it is quite expensive here in Rome. Like it was 18 euros. And because like the pounds just about the same as a euro at the minute, it's about 18 quid for that. Um, I'm a total tight ass, but I probably do need to find a few places cheap or at least even uh, check the menu to see how much they are. But live and learn, I guess. Do you know what I mean? It's my first meal. I started off quite late, so I missed breakfast. So I guess it's kind of breakfast slash lunch, but I guess slash dinner now as well. It's mad actually how real these look compared to the um, compared to the videos and stuff that I saw on YouTube. Literally all the little this areas. Probably needs to get a magnet from my mother at some point. Oh, but wow. Gelotti <laughs> and the Trevi Fountains. Look at that. There is police everywhere. Gelati, that's the place that I saw. Saw on the YouTube clip that I need to go check out at some point. They do say it is a bit more expensive over this way because it's a little bit more touristy. Well, I am going to just uh, about to leave Savoli Fountains now. Just have a take of the scenery, last few moments. Do need to get some uh, from a coin in for good luck. With peace and happiness. Right, so I've just been stopped by one of the uh, restaurant owners. He wanted to take a pic of my, my football top. Um, he's a Lazio fan apparently, and uh, Gascoigne is his favourite player. So amazing places around here, like ice cream, souvenir shops, and I've literally just stumbled upon the Pantheon, which is 
It's incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, hey. Look at that. That's amazing. Imagine just eating lunch right there and you've got this building here which is thousands of years old. And inside the Pantheon. Like I say, they do temperature checks just before you go in. Wow. Mad to think this is all done thousands of years ago. So I've been walking again for about 20 minutes um, on the Trevi Fountains and I think what's right in front of me is the Colosseum. Obviously I think it'll look nice in the evening so I'll have to pop down another night. There's some amazing restaurants and places to eat around here. It's a little bit in the distance but as we're getting closer. Right. How am I going to get inside? So it looks like if I want to go inside, it's 16 euros. I keep finding myself talking to the above screen and not this one, so it's a little bit weird. It's like obviously my first time using it. But actually, if you look behind me, you'll see the Colosseum. It's literally the middle of a roundabout. Hello, Nero. Just in the queue to get my ticket for the Coliseum. 16 euros entry. I tried blagging it. If it's two euros if you're an EU citizen. Between 18 to 25. It's quite a long queue to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's so friendly so far. Literally getting everyone to be my own personal photographer. No, we don't. <laughs> so I uh, used my charm. I got my ticket from 16 euros to 2 euros. I'm blagging it. Always a good sign. And I think the entrance that I've got to get going is over there. Totti! Better than, than uh, <laughs> well, who, maybe, maybe. Hey, Entrado? So, what's it done? Not sure. Uh, yeah, through here. <laughs> so, you can take a scenic speaker from the box up there. Put down your shirt, shirt. Then you can get in. Okay. Car. size of this it's incredible so many people tell me it's like it's meant to be really busy this this time of year usually but obviously with everything that's going on it's dead
probably going to head back in a bit because my phone's running out of battery as well. Um, and then tonight I'm going to go out and they've got a free trip over at the hostel um, at Yellow Bar. So we're going to go to the Sunset Tour. Good morning. Right, so I'm day a little bit late. The time now is 1.58. Um, hence the glass has had a bit of a heavy one last night, so a bit hungover and starting it late. Um, but all packs ready to go. I think I'm probably going to head over um, towards Trevi Fountains today. Um, go get some coffee, get some gelato. I haven't really ate that much over the last couple of days. Um, and probably head over to Zara and Gucci um, just to get some photos here. That's all about really. Uh, weather's beautiful today to be fair, so it's going to cure me within a matter of minutes. I could already hear the Scottish lads from last night, one of the boys who gave me their shirts. But um, yeah, let's see how we get on. So, I've um, just been socialising with the uh, Scots from last night. Um, I got a video that got my phone earlier of basically everyone that I met from last night. We had people from like Colombia, New Zealand, um, Curacao, um, Germany, Brazil, literally all corners of the world. It was just the maddest night I've had. Next one, please, George. Yeah, What's your name? Where are you from? George, Norwich, but grew up in Birmingham now. Nice one. My name's Tristan, I'm from Glasgow. Suleyma, Holland. Fabian, Germany. Henry, Germany. Arek, Poland. Sergio from Colombia. <laughs> and I saw this Muhammad Ali shirt that one of the uh, Scottish geezers was wearing. And he literally just went, ran up to his room, fifth floor, and gave it to me. Um, I'm starting to work out that also, I think I might have spent a little bit too much on my breakfast for the first day. It's like £4.50 I think for Americano. Um, I've been finding them around for literally about £1.50, cents and stuff like that. So, I've got to go head over to the market and see what that's about. Check out Vatican. I've done like 14 and a half miles today, uh, yes, <laughs> yesterday. So I probably don't want to cane it quite as hard as that. Because my legs are done in. Equally, I probably don't want to go out and get wankered again. but. We'll see what happens. So I've just sat down in the restaurant and um, ordered some food, got a margarita pizza. Never too early to start. Got Prosecco, coffee, water. Just waiting on my pizza now. Literally right outside the Coliseum. I can't see it, it's literally just behind me. But great views. Fine, perfect. Gracias. So, literally, as soon as I've turned this on, got my pizza, absolutely banging, coffee, water, even a glass of Prosecco. Uh, cheers, Rome. Nothing for you, nothing for you. Sunny. Tuck in the seat, this is like. I'm just going to a place that was recommended on YouTube called Giolotti. So I'm literally about a minute away walk off. 170 yards away. Grande? Um, uh, brandy. Okay. Uh, can I get a uh, Oreo? Oreo, next. Um, the white chocolate. White chocolate, next. Um, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, one more. And which one do you recommend? Coffee? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cream on top. Perfect. No, yes. What was that, sorry? Cream. Uh, just a little. 
Grazie. Prego. Ciao. Look at that. It's amazing. That's five euros. So I'm leaving the hostel today um, to go see the Pope at Vatican and I can safely say that I'm probably the most tired I've ever been. Mainly down to the fact that my roommate came in at about three o'clock this morning. Um, I couldn't get to sleep till about two and snored ridiculously loudly to the point that at about four o'clock, five, about five o'clock, I had to I went into the shower room and literally just got my blanket and slept in there for about an hour and a half. Um, then I've got back to go get changed. Um, still snoring. He woke, came up to me and was like, oh, I didn't wake you up my snoring did I? I was like, no, nah, no, nah, you'll find me. Went back to sleep, did not snore at all. He fucking must have been had me on. But, so yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee, go to Vatican, Go see the Pope, see what he's doing. Um, I've got my glass, even though it's pissing it down, I've got my glasses on, mainly because I've got bags under my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee and start the day. Good. Right, checking in. Um, made it into Vatican City in record time, so I'm a little bit more optimistic at Fairness. So we're gonna see how we get on. Hopefully, I catch a Hopefully I catch my man, Pope Francis, spitting some bars, making some lyrics. So let's see how we get on. Meant to start at 10 o'clock, between 10 o'clock and 10.30. Um, doesn't look like anything started yet. Um, I've had a go on the electric scooter since. Would not recommend. Ennis almost got fined by the police, driving recklessly. Probably wasn't a good idea based on my standard track record. Um, on scooters or just motorised vehicles. So yeah, I'll try to get them on them to pick up a little bit of time, make the time up. Now it won't for me. Sounds like I've missed the Pope. Apparently it was on like 8 o'clock this morning or something, but I don't know. Probably. We've arrived. Grant did I miss a speech? But, I'm going to go inside see what it's all about. Um, I've basically done everything that I want to do. There's probably a couple of bits that I wish I did do, but I haven't done it in like Roma Stadium. But in fairness, I've kind of run out of time for this trip. Um, and they are quite a way away, and they're probably not the top, top of my list. Um, so maybe it's something that I can do next time whenever I come. Right, here's a bit of culture for you viewers. So you've got these fountains literally everywhere in Rome. You just press that. Water comes out. Right. Give this a go. 
without getting it all over yourself, hopefully, but there you go, when in Rome. <laughs> so I've just finished a meal at this little restaurant not far off the Sistine Chapel. And genuinely, um, some of the best food, like I'm full of pizza, and I'm never ever gonna wanna pe eat a pizza again in the UK when I get back. But I had a two Fantas, a pizza, and then afterwards he gave me two shots of limoncello and some cake, and it came to nine pounds altogether. Like some people say Italy is so expensive, but that is like proper good value for money. Like I'm so impressed with that and genuinely one of the nicest geezers I've ever met. But now, I'm heading over, over here, Sistine Chapel, and Vatican, because I didn't get to see the Michelangelo um, artwork on the roof, and the weather is so much nicer compared to yesterday. And I think ahead is the entrance to Sistine Chapel. Excuse me. So as you can probably tell, we're back in the UK and you have made it to the end. Um, I just wanted to cover a few things at the end of this video that I might have left out um, in the, the crux of the vlog. Um, one of the main things that I did kind of leave out, that I kind of do wish I covered, was a little bit more of the nightlife. But I guess it's my first vlog and there's going to be a few teething problems along the way. Um, but I, I tried to cover as much as I could. Um, another thing that I did want to kind of cover, uh, just briefly, was cost and so on. There is a little bit of a stigma with travelling that everyone always thinks it's going to cost an arm and leg to be able to get around the world. But in this instance, I really didn't have that problem at all. Um, so, for example, the hostel I purchased on hostelworld.com. Um, so you can either go on their online page or via the app. I think I paid about £8 a night for the hostel. Um, it's a really, really good location. Everywhere was in... Uh, walking distance. Uh, I don't really got, didn't really get any public transport. I just took the majority of the time walking around to be able to find everywhere to go. Um, another thing that was the flights. 
Um, granted they were with Ryanair so it probably wasn't the best flight I've ever had in the world but for £40 return I don't think I could complain uh, I just took hand luggage with myself uh, just for a few days that would be able to cover me and I think I probably averaged about £25 worth of spending money and that was literally food, entry into places and just getting about really. Um, so all in all for three slash four days, um, parking uh, over at Stansted, the flights, the baggage, food, everything um, was about £200 just under for uh, about four or five, about four days. Um, so all there is to say is say thank you very much for watching once again I really do appreciate it and hopefully I have some more content for you in the near future